BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. This is Jitesh Palmer at the BBC Sports Centre. It might only be a pre-season game, but they don't come much more glamorous than Manchester United against the Spanish Giants and Champions League winners Real Madrid. The two sides met in an International Champions Cup match. And with more details, here's Andy Barwell. Manchester United's game with Real Madrid ended one apiece in sweltering conditions in California. The England striker Jesse Lingard was on target for Jose Mourinho's side, his goal being set up by Anthony Martial. But they like to have a winner in each ICC game, so it went to penalties to get a bonus point, though it wasn't exactly a high-quality shootout. Only three penalties were scored out of ten attempts, United winning 2-1. At least Mourinho will be happy with goalkeeper David De Gea's form. One concern for United, an injury suffered by midfield player Ander Herrera, who limped off the pitch after just six minutes of action. Chelsea have sincerely apologised after the Brazilian Kennedy posted offensive social media comments before a pre-season match in China. Fans accuse a 21-year-old of xenophobia and racism over comments made before Saturday's 3-0 victory over Arsenal. Kennedy, who was booed by the fans at the game, also later apologised. The Arsenal centre-back Laurent Koscielny says he has no desire to leave the club despite reported interest from French side Marseille. The 31-year-old defender signed a contract extension with the Gunners in January to take him through to 2020. And Swansea City are weighing up a move to re-sign striker Wilfred Boney from Manchester City. The Ivory Coast international left the Swans for the Etihad Stadium on a four-year contract in 2015 but he managed only eight goals in 46 appearances for City. Boney spent last season on loan at Stoke. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football.